Let's wear titanium suits in case pianos fall on us. Let's see how to add custom armor to Minecraft. Alright, we find ourselves back in IntelliJ once more and in this tutorial we're going to add custom armor to the game. And yes, by the way, the intro was probably about seven years too late. And if you understood that reference, then don't forget to leave a comment on that. Whatever the case may be, we want to add a custom armor to the game. And what we're going to do is we also have to implement something similar to the mod item tier. However, in this case, we don't have it as easy as just using the forge tier. We have to do a few more things, but once again, no worries at all. Inside of our item package, right click new Java class, and we're going to create the mod armor material. And this will implement the armor material interface right here and we will actually not hover over this we will change this to enum right here and then we will middle mouse button click on the armor material to see the interface and then we'll press ctrl h and we can see the armor materials is the actual implemented interface and here we can see well first of all all of the actual materials from vanilla as well as well all of the methods and all of the private fields that we actually have to implement and what we're going to do is we're just going to take pretty much all of this uh, except for actually we're going to take this as well the only thing that i need to change is the name here so this needs to be mod armor material right there and then all of the arrows should go away overall what we can basically see here is well how is this class built number one we of course once again have a name that's going to be important in a little while and then also we have, you know, certain integers, uh, specifically something like the durability multiplier. And then we also have an int array slot protections. So that might seem kind of weird, but let's think about this. Uh, because each of the different pieces of armor has different durability and different, you know, defense values, we actually have to have some different things. So number one here, health per slot, for example, is just something that is sort of hard coded in for each of the different well pieces of armor what's very important is that the integers here go from bottom to top meaning that this is the boots leggings chest plate and then the helmet so that's very important and the same goes for the int arrays right here so those this is the int array that basically gets the protections in there so that's very important and then what's also really nice with, you know, having all of these values in here, we can simply change something. So for example, I mean, titanium obviously is going to be like really good. So titanium, and then we can change this to titanium as well. The second value is the durability multiplier. So let's just say something like 50, because like, let's be honest, titanium is pretty, pretty good. Now let's make the enchantability a little less. If you want proper names here, so the proper sort of labels here, you can just rename those as well. You should get well what they are doing by just taking a look at what the fields are that they are being basically assigned to. Uh, however, in this case, I don't think that is quite necessary. And then, of course, what we have, I think the Netherite Equip um, sound event here is actually fine. And then we can also specify the toughness, which is this, and then the knockback resistance. I actually think maybe giving it a little bit more knockback resistance, even a little bit more toughness. And then we can say mod items dot titanium ingot.get for the actual ingredient to repair this with and then we'll just delete everything here and as you have seen if we want to add another mod armor material here what we can do is we can copy this and what's very important is that between the materials we actually have to have a comma and then also this has to have a different name so let's just say titanium 2 for the sake of argument here and the last one has to end with a semicolon this is just a normal enum basically so that would be everything there and if you want to change any uh, particular fields here or any particular things then you know do this with a little bit of caution and of course once again there a little bit of java knowledge really helps you if you want to really change something uh, crazy otherwise this is pretty standard and really doesn't need to be changed all that much and then we can basically proceed to go into our mod items class and create the four different armor items so we're just going to copy the titanium hole and we're going to change this to the titanium underscore boots and then we're going to change this to the boots as well titanium boots and this is a armor item right here and then instead of a mod tiers we are going to pass in the mod armor material dot titanium and then the slot is going to be equipment slot dot feet 
and then we don't have a fourth parameter only three and there you go so that's basically the armor done and then let's actually copy this four times so that we have four of them and we're going to say this is going to be the leggings and of course once again here as well leggings making sure that this is written correctly this meets the equipment slot legs of course and then we have the chest plate what's important that all of those are armor items so that's something to consider as well chest plate and this of course is then a chest and then last but not least we also have the helmet and let's do this here as well helmet and this is of course the head equipment slot and with that the actual armor is implemented well basically the things we need for any item as well which is of course the normal json files the item models as well as the textures now all of that is of course available for you or download in the description below in the github repository or in individual gists as well and what i'm going to do is i'm just going to copy over the item models here those are just normal item models that point to a normal item texture as we've seen pretty much a lot of times now already so those are the things that are displayed in the actual inventory once again so those are just the items those are just the textures in the inventory however if we now want to also add well sort of this 3d texture right we also have to specify hey how does it look when the actual when the player has this texture on and what we need to do for that is actually two things number one instead of our textures folder right click new directory called models and then inside of there right click new directory called armor this is without a u so this is the american spelling and we actually have to copy over two files of course also available for you for download and they look like this they have the name titanium underscore layer underscore one and titanium underscore layer underscore two now they look kind of like this right so we have basically the sort of upper part and then the lower part of the actual armor as it is displayed in 3d and what is very important with the name here is that the name given right here has to match this name at the front right that's insanely important that has to match otherwise it will not work and it has to also be underscore layer underscore one not with any exclamation points or any parentheses afterwards it has to be written exactly like this this name underscore layer underscore one and then the other one this name underscore layer underscore two and what is also important, there's one thing in the mod armor materials that we also have to specify and change, and that is in the get name right here. Because here we also have to say tutorial mod dot mod ID plus colon plus this dot name. So basically the name we're returning, we're returning with our mod ID so that this basically gets converted into our namespace so that our models and our titanium armor can be well inside of our textures folder and doesn't have to be in the minecraft textures folder we can by the way also leave this out and put it in the minecraft folder however i do personally i don't recommend this so this would actually be fine here and this is pretty much all that we need to do of course you know adding the translation as well that will be fine so i'm just going to add this there is there's nothing too crazy of course it's just the normal translation and apart from that that is actually everything that we need to do so let's see if it works all right we found ourselves back in minecraft and as you can see the armor has been added so let's put it on and there you go doesn't it look just amazing well i mean it's not the craziest thing however it is pretty cool and if i go into survival mode you can see i have basically a full protection here i'm i mean basically just almost invincible you can also see the actual values here that the titanium armor has each of the pieces and those are of course basically specified in the actual mod armor material enum that we've created so that's basically where you would change those right and that is actually how easy it can be to add custom armor to the game and this would be already it for this tutorial right here. I hope you found this useful and you learned something new. If you did, I would, of course, appreciate a like. And don't forget to subscribe for more tutorials just like this one. So, yeah.